All righty. So we have Isaac and Annabelle. Isaac, go ahead and mute. Isaac, go ahead and mute yourself so that we don't hear you. Um, Marshall, today's the 24th, is that right? Yeah. Okay, so Marshall, Jonathan, Ethan, Emily, did I see you? Oh, she's over there, okay. Ivan, I saw him. Kensley, I saw. Malachi, Samuel, I saw. Micah Jenkins is not here, and I'm recording it for him. Uh, Elijah, Isaac, Anna, Kari, Amelia, Sarah, Emily, Dylan, Gavin, and Trent is here. Okay, take your hoods off, guys. Let's get our hoods off. Okay. All right. Here is, um, I guess I can put this. Oh, yeah. There you go. Okay. All right, so let us talk about some things. First of all, let's get this out first. Everybody get this out. Um, you'll be happy to hear, ready? There is not gonna be a test on this today. I am going to give you a test on the, um, on your, I'm gonna give a test on the, Google Classroom this next week. The reason is I think there's a little confusion, um, some challenges with this, and so this would this will be a test. What I want you to do is on your own, talk to your parent and challenge yourself the way you think best. If you are, and you could probably try this too, if you wanted to, you could see how you're, are you feeling all right? You look a little bit, are you exhausted from volleyball? Yes. You guys, yeah, barely hanging in there. Um, so five and six, um, you guys can, um, basically I'm gonna post the test on Google Classroom. I want you to talk to your parent. Now, if I find out that you made the decision without your parent, who am I looking at? Some, I like how you just look guilty. <laughs> um, I want you to talk to your parent. Do you want to try this closed book? Do you want to do an open book? Okay? And then all I want you to do is write on your test which you decided to do. And I want you to challenge yourself. You could also try it closed book first. <coughs> see how you do. And then, and then, but whatever you decide, you're going to write it on the top of the test. So, Am I going to receive a test that does not say on the top of the test how you took the test? Okay. If you do, then it's just a zero and I'm done. That's how serious I am. Write it on there. Everybody, so, so nobody's written a note on this. Is everybody going to remember? So in your vocabulary, you know, on week 11, I think we're on. Is that right? Let's see which week. We're on, yeah, week 11. Okay, where it says optional vocabulary from classical roots. Okay, you're not doing lesson six this week. You are taking the vocab test. So write yourself a note that says, I need to tell Wendy how I'm taking the test on the top of the test. Write yourself a note that says something like that. Okay. I, I really, really, really don't want to have to ask anybody. Let's see if you guys can do this. Let's see if we can get 100%. 100% of everyone writes on the top of their test. If they do that, you can do it. I think if we do that, Sarah is going to bring in a treat for everyone. No, I was... <laughs> all right, Sarah, Sarah's going to bring in the treat if you guys can all do it. Um, okay, so that's the first thing. I want you guys, as you're doing five and six, I think there's been some confusion about understanding these particular words. What is the point of this book? Uh, learn new words, gain new vocabulary. Okay, learn new words. Narrow down for me a bit. To relate and to add new things. So that, so that what? Anna? <laughs> that was a very good answer very good answer no but that will be helpful that's a sub subset of what happens Sid? So you can figure out what each of the words mean by using the root yeah that's the trick right when you say bicycle by right what do we automatically know is going on with the word by 
two. So anything you see, right, that uses by, we can do two. All right? And obviously that carries over into many facets of things. But that one you know. Try, right? You know this. Try. You know that's three. You've done it so many times that that root is in your head. What this is attempting to do is put roots in your head. So think about that when you're doing that. So for example, um, with lesson five, right? Um, the word micro, did you guys catch that as you're doing it? Anything with micro means small. So everything you're doing should be able to relate to that. So you're putting them in categories so you're not actually having to memorize each of the words. All right? The words minuo, and I don't, I'm don't. i not a Latin teacher like, like Uncle Eddie is. I would be able to help you with this. But the, the T-E-N-U means to make what? Thin. Okay? The Latin root sat, S-A-T or S-A-T-I-S, means what? <laughs> Enough. Full. Enough. You guys can jot this down in your notes. Taking notes. If you're not, if you don't know it, jot it down. Right? The words, the word plen, P-L-E-N. This one you probably are familiar with means what? Plen, full, to fill, meaning full, okay? Um, the, same is, the same thing happened in unit six. You've got these words, right? The words um, mega, we knew meant what? Big, okay? Um, copia, what does that one mean? Ethan? A lot or plenty. What's the word you guys used as a child with copia? Does anybody remember? Anybody, anybody know what a cornucopia is? Or is this before your time? <laughs> before their time. We, yeah, it was this big thing like that at Thanksgiving or I don't know, that you'd fill with, it's corn, you know, like you fill with stuff. It's called the cornucopia, right? Magnus, what does the root Magnus mean? And write this down if you don't know it. Magnus, what does that mean? Great, megas, great, poly, many. So I think as I was talking to my own relation people that I'm related to this week, right? I think there was a little confusion as to what we're doing with these words. And so that's why I decided to not have the test in class. I want you to go home, take your time, Look at that and make sure you understand that as you're doing the words. You're not necessarily trying to memorize each of these words. You're trying to see the root they have in common. Okay? So take a look at that. The test will be posted. Now, I this is going to make some of you very sad, and I'm sorry. I am flying to California tomorrow, so there will not be as many things on Google Classroom this week as there sometimes are. Okay, so there will be less things on there you'll notice, especially concerning the poetry and stuff. There won't be as much. Here is how the, the um, good hook, good hook um, contest is going to go, all right? When I get home today, by I'm going to say like 5 o'clock, if your good hook is not posted, you are not in the contest. Everybody get that? So if your good hook is currently not posted, write down post by five o'clock somewhere. What I am doing, some of you have asked me about putting your name on it. I don't care. I am just copying them and pasting them into a separate document. And I am going to post, hopefully by six o'clock today, okay? A complete document that has every entry in the contest without names. Everybody get that? So you'll open it up and there will be number one and there will be one. Number two, and there will be one. Number three, and I'll have the title you gave me, whatever you gave me, will be on there without your name. And there will be hopefully an entry from every single person, okay? Otherwise, you're not in the contest. You can turn it in late and get minus points, but you can't be in the contest if you're not on there at Monday at five. Then I will have it set up, and I haven't 
figured out how to do this in Google Classroom. I gotta check it out if I can do this. Maybe I could talk to Malachi. I'm gonna ask you guys to vote within the classroom on your first, second, and third place choices for winners. Okay, Ethan. You can make what? A poll, yeah. I could link to the poll. Okay, maybe I'll try that. I hadn't, I, I thought maybe I could do it. So maybe I'll link to a poll, something like that. But I, I also don't want you to see the poll until everyone gets to vote, you know, type of thing. So that will be on there. I will figure out how to do that somehow. If it's just that you send me a private comment with the winners, I'll just tally it myself or I'll ask one of my, I'll hire my little Hannah. She loves that stuff. I'll hire her to do the tally marks for me or something. So, so that's the other thing that you should put on there. There won't be any analogies this week. We'll take a break with analogies. You'll take your classical roots five and six test on Google Classroom and you will write on the top of the paper how you're taking the test after conferring with a Kari. Ref conferring with a? Adult. Parent. Yes. Parent. <laughs> Trick question. You could have come up with a funny answer like, oh no, that was good. All right. So there might be one poetry assignment, but that will probably be max. I still want you to read your poetry, but it will be a lighter week in that regard. Um, and there will be a writing assignment that I will be talking to you about today in class. Now, final papers for Frankenstein. If you have, if I have not if you redid your paper before, I had asked you on Google Classroom to turn that into me itself. So here's Anna's, I think she's got it, so I'm gonna show this, yeah. So Anna's just, and I don't care how, what order you do this in, okay? So here's Anna's original, which I won't show the grade on. She's got her original and she stapled her new copy to this, and that's perfect. So if you want me to regrade, I need it with the old copy on here, okay? Anybody else want to turn that in? A regrade. Okay. Um, I should absolutely have your final paper by now. If you don't have a grade in there, you're behind. So get that final paper into me. Okay. And then, yes. I have it. I just don't have it stapled. The old one? Where is it? Uh. Bring it to me next week then. I really want that old copy because I wanna see what, there's just too many of you and I wanna see what I encouraged you to do. If I encouraged you to work on this section, I wanna remember what I encouraged you or what I said to do. So please keep, please turn that in. Okay, I wanna have a little discussion and I would like everyone to try to insert their voice at least one time. Are we doing anything? Else, so vocabulary. No, just the, test. just the test, just the test. And then we'll be talking about a writing assignment, but I would like to have a small discussion on the first six chapters of Lord of the Flies right now. So let's get the discussion moving. Marshall. Something I would like to say about the book. Okay. Um, Is this serious or yeah. a joke? I've noticed that a lot of the like people talking cuts off really abruptly a lot of the time. Yes. Why do you think that is? There are children. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. But it also can be the way that the author chooses to style it. And sometimes it can be hard to follow. You'll notice that with authors, how they might choose to write something. I read a really great book one time. One of my favorite books ever. It's probably a little bit old for most of you. You need to get parental permission. Called Angela's Ashes by Frank McCourt. <laughs> My husband was in college and Frank McCourt was coming to the college and they picked like five students to have dinner with him and they picked John. And so he had to read the book and like, he hadn't read the book. So he was like, I need to read his book before I have dinner with him. So he read it in like two days and he's like, Wendy, you gotta read this. Great book. He didn't use, and there, he didn't use quotation marks in the book at all. And I thought it would be a problem. And when I started, like he just did it all. And I thought this, how am I going to? And within a chapter or two, he, what, what he had chosen to do worked for how he wrote it. So, so even a rule, right? You can bend a rule and it could work. Um, and so you may just find that that author in particular 
uses these cutoffs a lot and you may not like that style. He may also be doing it for emphasis that these are kids that have no ability. I mean, obviously they don't have ability to not talk over each other because they decide. It's the Lord of the Flies. It's the Lord of the Flies, but they decide what? What? I can't hear you. Talk a little up. I think abruptly. Abruptly, okay. But what do they decide to do because they can't figure out who's going to talk? Hold the conch shell. Yeah, which they just don't care about. <laughs> <laughs> which really, I mean, have you ever done this as kids? I mean, we've all, I, I actually was in a situation where this happened one time. I was on a basketball team and we were playing and there was an argument over something. We were, we were on a, a tournament, a national tournament. So we were in this dorm to get this uh, hotel together for like, you know, two weeks. And there was an argument between these two groups and, and, uh, we, we, we kept talking over each other. So somebody was like, you have to hold the shoe, you know, and somebody took a shoe off and like whatever. And it only works if as much as people respect the shoe, because if you're still just yelling, it, it doesn't work that you're holding. It's like, I'm holding a shoe. I don't care. Right. So it only works as so much as it works. All right. Some other thoughts. I'd like, like I said, if I took a grade today and said, I'm going to give you a hundred or zero by <clears throat> inserting one comment, I'd like everyone to try to at least this is part of like learning how to be in a group. I want you to try to at least insert yourself in one spot. I thought people that made it to me, um, when people told me about the book, they made it seem like it was a lot more violent. Okay. You think it will get more violent? No. Yes. <coughs> no, yeah. but I, no, I feel like it's, there's not a lot more violence going on. A little bit. That kid's really bad. <laughs> What's your hypothesis? The piggy's gonna die. Piggy's gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> Hypothesis there. I think Jack could possibly start violence. Jack could start the violence. He's very violent. He's very violent. Yeah. He doesn't, he doesn't like what? He doesn't like Piggy. Why do you think he doesn't like him, Kari? He can be annoying. He can be annoying. He's jealous. <clears throat> He's chubby. It's true. I mean, it, and. We target people in society, right? We've all seen that. You target, you, you, you know, you end up targeting a weak link. I just watched um, The Sandlot this weekend again for like the 50th time with uh, Hannah. And I love that. I love the movie, if you haven't seen it. Has everybody seen it? It's good. But I love that Benny, right, the cool guy, uh, befriends this little kid, right? I love that about that movie because... One person has the potential to change the trajectory of someone's life simply by being kind. And especially if you're the cool kid and you're like, hey, I Ivan's cool, man. I mean, we're, we're cool. Like, let's go. Come on, Ivan. You can't throw, but that's okay. Get out here. You know, I mean, the kid, every time he threw, he was like, you know, trying to decide which foot to step with. And he was terrible, right? But Benny, the cool guy, befriends him. So you see that in this, right? A piggy why they target piggy it's it's really we target the the weak and that's what you're kind of looking at this okay this is supposed to be a microcosm of society what do i mean when i say that what do i mean a microcosm of society small civilization small example of how the world may work okay other thoughts piggy should not be in this book because He's smarter than everybody else there, mm -hmm. but physically he's <laughs> completely incapable. So I think that's the problem. The other part of the problem is Jack has a serious. I'm just gonna say Jack has serious short man syndrome. Yeah, and he's just he can't take it. Yeah, he can't take it. I think that's a very. I think that's a very. Uh, yes, and I think that's what he's doing on purpose, right? He's trying mm -hmm. to capture. He's trying to capture within this group the different people you have, and isn't it interesting that. Probably if you think, if I think about a team I was on, if I think about a, a class I was in, you almost always have these people in there. So, yeah. One part I really liked uh, was when uh, they went hunting and they were like panting to the pig. That was, uh, got more dramatic. Yeah, got in, it, got, it got a little bit intense. Got a little bit intense, right? How serious they're taking this, this death. Is that foreshadowing? 
Annabelle or Isaac? I know Isaac's not feeling great, so he's he's uh, hanging on. So if he doesn't comment, Annabelle, what about you? Uh, I I can I can comment still. Okay, go ahead, Isaac. Uh, I was gonna say, it, uh, I don't know. I've I, I've heard stuff about the books and like uh, how how violent it got, and I think something's probably going to happen to Jack. Is he's leading everything on? I don't think he'll probably make it off the island in the end okay so he's hypothesizing that jack won't anybody else agree with isaac like, that jack he, he, might not make it off the island okay what'd you say isaac he really doesn't, didn't care about the fighter and being rescued yeah he cared more about hunting and being violent yeah so he some some people in here said nobody may make it off the island he said he doesn't care about fire and being rescued. Like his perspective is just warped right into this power. Like he said, like this guy that maybe hasn't had power before, wants power, feels inferior, feels actually intellectually inferior to Piggy. I mean, that's often the case too, right? People, people will tell you this in high school, like be nice to the geek in your class. Why? Because they will probably be running the world. Like, literally, the smart people, truly, once you get out of high school and you get, like, the the athletes, right? They, they're they going to drop off if they haven't, like, we're, we, we are, not, not that you can't be cool if you're athletic, right? But it's the smart kids that you actually want, that you're going to need for your future. And you're going to need for things. What do, what do you think, Annabelle? Um, I didn't really like the book. It's kind of like... It's like all women, but, it's, but a lot of it's it's mainly like men, <laughs> boys, and like it's kind of hard to follow. Okay, anybody agree with Annabelle? Any any girls in here? Not a huge fan. Not a huge fan. I was gonna say it's kind of chaotic. Chaotic. Okay, and that actually could that's actually a really good point. If your personality is very organized, I have trouble when I watch movies. Um, <laughs> When things, like, when a child comes into a place or, like, into a store and, like, knocks something off the shelves and, like, everything goes everywhere, it really bothers me. Because I'm like, someone's got to clean that up and it's probably going to be me. You know, like, I just, like, that bothers me and stuff when things are like that. So that's a, that's a valid, a valid point. Yeah. I think I like the book, but at first I was like, I just keep making bad decisions while I'm reading this. Yeah. But I do like it. Yeah, they keep making bad decisions. I mean, that's, and then you try to think, that, and that's the thing, this book is to get you to think, right? Are What are these decisions? Like, what decision would I make? You'd like to think you'd make better decisions. Would you? No. You do something stupid. Huh? I die on the first day. Huh? You die on the first day. Yeah. Other thoughts? Anybody any on any comments of the symbolism? Has anybody given that some thought? It's, it's not necessarily easy to do the symbolism until the end with some things, but has anybody thought about what some things might symbolize? <laughs> what do you think fire would symbolize? What do you think, Samuel? Yeah. yeah. Huh? Hope? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. What do you think the conch could possibly symbolize? And I, we're just talking about possible symbols here because we got to wait and see how it plays out. Leadership. Leadership. Power. Power. Yes. Other thoughts? Anybody, anybody on the, I really love this book. Anybody like really enjoying it? Yeah. We got two is it here? Okay. I mean, yeah, it's a school book. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, you know, it is it is a bunch of schoolboys on the island. There are no female characters to relate to. Um, that will that will that what? I missed that. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna let that one go. Based on okay, I'm gonna let that go. All right. Um, anybody else? Kind of annoys me. Like yeah, this aspect of it adds good tension. It makes it look good, but it annoys me how they're always arguing and stuff, and they can't agree on yeah. some stuff. It definitely chaotic. Who said the other the chaos? Right? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> no, I don't 
think it really symbolizes like guys, teenagers now. We don't fight as much as we used to. <coughs> but what if we did? What if we put all the men in this room? No one would be alive. On an island together. Let's look at our group. Let's look at our group here. What do you, what do you guys think? Who do you think would be your leader? I'm a great leader. Ethan. I Ethan. Like they think what? No. <laughs> Two votes, Ivan. I'm <laughs> Yeah, Let's be honest, if it was this situation, whoever's the biggest is going to win. Probably Malachi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Jonathan does have a very good, like, presence. I, I enjoy leading. Right, so there you go. That's that's actually, and he, he's pretty good at it, right? I feel like from what I've known of Jonathan, he's got this way of doing it. Here's the thing, you gotta be able to do it without ticking everyone off, right? Because if you, at this point, if you tick everyone off, you will actually be in bad position. Um, I mean, if you've watched, is it, uh, you know, if you, any of you watched Survivor, that, was that show, I used to watch it all the time, uh, 20 years ago. There's a whole system, right? So like preserving your spot and not getting voted off the island and still getting things done. And if you're too bossy, what happens? Would anyone would anyone in here say I would be lazy? So you'd let them do the work for you. Yeah. You would. You're just okay. It's official. It's official. <laughs> and how can you do that? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, Ethan, we might have to target. We might have to take care of that right away. Yeah, what, you're the biggest guy. Why is it? Why is it that big people immediately get like leadership? They're intimidating. They're intimidating? I've often wondered if it actually goes back to like childhood, because I'm a big person, right? And I wonder if it goes back to childhood in that as little children, everyone thought I was older than I was all the time. So I'm constantly the biggest person in a room with whoever I'm with, right? And what is it about giving the biggest person the responsibility, even though they might be the most immature person in the room? I'm not saying anything, not okay. Right? <laughs> right? I mean, we could still be the most immature person in the room, even though we were the biggest. So... Did the way I was raised create this sort of like, I'm a loud, in-charge person? Or have you met big people who are not loud, in-charge people? I mean, I don't know that you're a loud, in-charge person. Are you? I don't know. You don't know? Uh, it just, it goes both ways. I it, think some of it's just, like, just naturally, bigger guys have, like, more dominant voices in a way. And I feel like that's part of it. Like... You just sound more um, yeah. in charge, but I'm definitely not a leader. I couldn't be. Not a, okay, so you're admitting that you're not a leader. I, I could in the way of like a project, but I couldn't in the way of leading people because I would, I'm very hedge, headstrong, I guess, and it would. You would, you would not, you would, you would destroy things. So you'd be very good as like Jonathan's like co-captain. Yeah. 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 Kind of like if you look at a church, you have pastor, associate pastor. I couldn't lead the whole church, but I could help lead the church. Which I have always felt about myself. I do not want to be the head coach. <coughs> I can be an assistant coach. I can do it. I do not want to be a head coach. You talk about leading. I don't want to lead. I have found in my life that I naturally end up in this position against my better judgment a lot of times. And I wonder if it's just because I'm loud, if it's because I'm tall. What, what it is about me that I end up in that situation often. Uh, it's, it's just something to think about. What were you going to say? No, oh, you're right. This goes back to childhood, but I don't think it's the same thing. So I think it's more of a, like when you're little and you're bigger than other people, it's not because everybody respects you, you watch out for everybody else. That's, that's the question, right? Do you, because you're bigger, actually start feeling that way? I think it's because, like when I was little, this is crazy, but mom called me the gentle giant. Yeah. And it was like my thing. Yeah. Kinda. And I've often I often said that to Elijah when he was little too, because he was bigger 
than everybody else. Like, I want you to be a gentle giant. I want you to be a, a strong person that, I, you know, I'm not talking about a wimpy giant, but somebody who's not, like, you've definitely met big guys that you're like, he's just gonna come in and just knock people's heads off. Like, he's just gonna go around and just like, or is he gonna be kind about his strength? Other thoughts? I'd love to hear from some of these girls over here. I haven't heard all the voices. They're lazy. Yeah. And how, I, the, the issue is, right, what do you do if there's no parent to say, get off your rear end and get this work done? Would you get off your rear end? What are you saying, Sarah? Probably not. Probably not. So you're admitting. So I think we're coming down to what our weaknesses are as humans, too. Right? By nature, I'm not a selfish person. I have, I'm a hothead, right? I'm, a, I'm explosive. So that would be where, where you'd see my weaknesses coming out a little bit more like you, although I have a little bit of a mobility with people to kind of keep it in check. Um, but then if in general, our weakness is laziness, <coughs> is that gonna just get compounded in this situation? And can you just watch everyone else do the work? Probably. Yeah. I don't think it's much that would be done. Like, uh, no. It takes a team to get done. It does. Yeah. Sometimes I just feel so out of it that I don't even see that the work needs to be done. Right. Right. I think that's in general how children are until a certain point, right? Um, and you find, start seeing the more responsible children and how you're looking at stuff. Any other thoughts? <coughs> Okay, so you guys are doing well. We're gonna finish the book this week. Okay, you're gonna finish the book. Okay, so you're gonna finish the book. You're gonna get on to Google Classroom. You're gonna see if I've given any poetry assignments. I think it will be one maximum this way, even a question, just one. Um, you're gonna take your vocabulary test. Yes? Um, I included a lot of vocabulary words here, as you can see. I'm not doing anything with those, but I hope that you'll use them while you're reading if you see a word you don't know in a chapter. Do you guys see these in your section? Because there are some words that they use that maybe you don't know. I also think it would be great if you just went through and just looked at words you don't know. I've made it super easy for you. Um, this is how you learn what words mean um, through, through reading. Okay, so... I am going to pass out something else that you guys are gonna take with you and do. And Annabelle and Isaac, I will be sending you a copy and Hadley and Walker who will be watching on video. So let's just, we'll just pass these around half and half here. Everybody just grab one and then we are gonna talk about them and then you'll be able to go for the week. I'll tell you. So my initial thought was that we would try to do this now, and that's what we're going to try to do. So get out a sheet of paper, line sheet of paper. Now, if you do not finish it, you may take it with you. My idea, line sheet of paper, line. Lines, get lines, get lines on it. No fuzzy edges, so help each other. If somebody doesn't have someone, just give it to them. Um, so what I wanna do sometimes is practice writing something on the spot. It's important to practice writing something on the spot. Some of you are really good at taking a lot of time. I'm seeing some heads nodding. I can write anything if you give me 18 hours, right? Can you write something in 15 minutes? So I'd like you to try to do this in a 15 minute time frame. If this is very stressful to you or you are having a very bad day and just do not wanna do it right now and you wanna do it at home in a quiet spot, I will support you in that. Um, but what I wanted you to do was just to look through this list of questions I have and choose one. <laughs> I thought we had to do all of them. No, no, no. Choose one, okay? 
And I would like you to answer this. Now, a few tips. Listen, nobody start writing yet. Nobody start reading yet. Look at me. And so I'm going to stop talking quickly and you're going to get started. If I'm giving you 15 minutes, I'm expecting 15 minutes worth of effort. Okay? So if you turn in, when a teacher does this and they give you this essay and Emily writes down four words and says, I'm done, what does the teacher think? Not good effort. I've also been talking, I was talking to one of my sons about this, saying uh, in your paper, I don't really know what the answer is. I don't, I don't really, you know, whatever. Don't do that. Don't do that. Own your answer. Okay? Convince me, even if you're not sure yourself. This is part of the strategy of having to write for people. You can even choose an angle if they said, do you feel this or this? You can even say you feel a different way than you do because you think it's easier to prove. All right, so I'm gonna, you're gonna start it up. If you need to take it with you, you can, but I I'm I'm, want you to try this in 15 minutes. I must be able to read your handwriting. Those of you who have bad handwriting, it's got to be good enough that I can read it without going like this, okay? Obviously, I'm not gonna grammar punctuation grade it as much as I would something that you have more time on. That's what a teacher is going to take into account that this is on the spot. Yes. Do we choose a chapter or just one? One question. Okay. Got lots of choices. How Ready? Long? How long? Pardon? How long? 15 minutes. No, how long? 15 minutes. What does that mean, Elijah? Right. Not, and not necessarily as much as you can, but 15 minutes worth of effort. Okay? 15 minutes worth of effort. All right. Go. Um, I am going to get off of video and send, send this. Isaac, hold on. I'm going to get off of the video and send you guys this to do. I know, but I don't know what writing assignments I'm supposed to do on which page. I didn't hear that clearly. I'm going to send it to you. Uh, okay. Okay. I will, I will send it to you. Okay, Annabelle? All right. Coming your way.